Okay, which means it's time for Community Connect. That's right, where we let you know about just some of the fun events going around in our state this weekend. Right. We're starting today, going through Sunday, is the Tehama County District Fair. This is so much fun. The theme is Stars, Stripes, and Fair Delight. I'm sure there will be funnel cake somewhere. There are so many parts of the fair happening every day, like carnival rides, fave, sea lion splash show, stingray encounter, and of course, fried food. The doors open at 4 today and tomorrow, and at noon on Saturday and Sunday. And tomorrow night, there's a concert from George Burge and Ray Lynn. And on Saturday, you've got to check out the Demolition Derby. Plus, on Sunday, there'll be truck and tractor pulls. All the events are free with your fair admission ticket. A one-day pass for adults costs just $15. And for kids, that's $5. So much fun. All right, in Orville, time for the Feather Fiesta Day celebration. All of those include things like salsa taste-off, margarita mixer tomorrow, lots of good Times. And get this, the Gold Rush Car Show on Oradam Boulevard and through the streets of downtown Oroville. And don't forget to check out the Chili Cook-Off for Butte County Firefighters on Saturday. The entire weekend is sure to be full of parades, concerts, everything throughout town. Yes, it's going to be good times. And in Chico this weekend, it's that time of year again. Ooh. Beer camp for anyone who likes to go. Tomorrow through Saturday, people can head on down to Sierra Nevada Brewing and participate in a plethora of activities like human foosball, Hungry Human Hippos, and Keg Bowling. Wow. <laughs> Looks like a great time. Sounds like a great time if I know what they're even talking about. But Hungry Hippos, I haven't played that in a long time. And human style. Yeah, right. like, what are you, how do you do that one? And get this, not only those, but all with a cold beer in hand. Tickets are sold out for Saturday, but you can still get them for tomorrow. Passes start at $20 and go up to $68, depending on just how long you want to relive those camp days. Ooh, Probably so didn't fun. have beer as a kid at camp. Hopefully <laughs> yeah. not. Hopefully not. Saturday's the Eureka Chinatown Street Festival from 4 in the afternoon to 9 p.m. on A Street, folks can celebrate AAPI Heritage Month. Yep, with Chinese lion dancers, dragons, cultural performances, food, vendors, and more. And it's all completely free to attend. Plus, it's all going on at the same time as Arts Alive. Yes, it's going to be so fun. And Saturday is the Trinity Heritage Days in Weaverville. This one's fun, too. A historic downtown Weaverville, your favorite place. Yes. People can stop by and enjoy an experience honoring the land and peoples and the stories of the area. Very cool. There'll be free drop-in traditional art workshops along with cultural food, music, and dancing. The opening ceremony starts at 10 a.m. Mm, can't wait. Yeah. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I don't know. That sounds fun. You, you mentioned earlier that Arts Alive is really cool. I've never checked that out. Yeah. And that's coinciding with all these cool things that are going on. Yeah, make your way to the coast. Go okay. enjoy. I'll be making my way to the carnival and yeah. doing some crazy rides. And I got the sense that you're a funnel cake fan because you mentioned that specifically, <laughs> I right? I shouldn't have funnel cake. But, no. you know, a nice treat every now and then at the carnival. you yeah. got to have funnel cake with a little powdered sugar. Oh, it's yeah. going to be good times for everybody out there. But will it be good weather? Well, you know, that funnel cake will sound extra good because it's going to be cool out there, at least on Saturday. <laughs> Even Sunday, it's going to be cool out there. Saturday is going to be the wet day for us, though.